Now they say the thing that I believe about being comfortable with your past because you're... Really? I almost got that one. The Watch Regret. I've always thought that I had an original opinion of regrets. Although I realize now that it's silly of me to think that I could be original in anything, but that's a different topic. Although I used to be the type of person that had regrets, that was before I was happy and comfortable with who I was at the time. Although it's true that everyone has things in their past that they look back on and are not very comfortable with, that doesn't mean that they necessarily regret them, it just means that it's something that they're not very proud of. Now, although I can look in the past and see things I'm not proud of, I, it doesn't mean that I regret them. No matter what happened in that situation, because I can look back on it and see what happened, it shows me who I am and how I've changed as a person. Now, I've watched a few videos recently, one of which said that if you say that you have no regrets, then you are lying. On this point, I'd like to direct you to this video up here by Now We Are All Tom. Please do watch that video, but I'll give you a little recap. In the video, he says that when Angelica reaches a certain age and can no longer remember talking to the baby, she will be a little bit different. Now, this is taking as fact that our experiences and our memories make us who we are. Now, by seeing all that, you'll see that what I'm saying does actually make quite a bit of sense. I do believe strongly in the butterfly effect. I believe that some little change could actually change an entire person or an entire event. So if perhaps I didn't hurt that person that I hurt in fifth grade or whatever the situation is, then maybe I would have hurt someone later on in life and that would have caused a terrible tumble effect of bad situations and what's well, a little overwhelming to think about. Regret is basically saying that you wish something hadn't happened and I can't wish that anything hadn't happened in my own past. I just can't because if I reject those things that have happened in the past, then I'm rejecting me now. And I like who I am. And I know some of you are probably thinking that you're not happy with who you are now, so it's okay to regret those things. What you have to do then is get to a point where you're comfortable with yourself. If it's a habit, you can always break it. If it's a physical thing, you can always change your mentality and work at it so that you're comfortable and happy with who you are. I'm getting a little preachy and love yourself kind of thing, and I've done that before, so I'm just going to leave it there. Anyway, you should really go check out that video by Now We're All Tom. I'm going to put it back up there. It's awesome. I love that guy. Go check him out. Oh, and don't forget that I have links down there. There's lots of stuff that you can check out if in your want to. If in your want to.